Hi Gemini, welcome to your card of the day. I'm posting this on February 19th. However, you might not find it on the 19th. So this is going to be for the next 24 hours, whatever day you find this message. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. See what's coming up here for our Gemini friends. And we have, <laughs> holy cannoli, it's you Gemini. Welcome to your own party. Mm, it's a Gemini. Now, this is really significant, okay? And I'll break it down here in just a moment. First and foremost, this is a major arcana card. Major arcana cards are going to come up any time that we're coming into a significant new chapter in our life, a, a defining time in our life, a significant time in our life. So it's really big energy. Even though I'm doing a card of the day, this energy is going to be around for a while. Now, the lover's card is seen as relationships, as romance, but it's also a card about choosing and deciding what you want. So it it can be in love and romance for some of you. It can be in other aspects of your life, but it's about making a choice. When the tarot was first put together, the sixth major arcana card was not called the lovers. Some decks called it the choice. Some decks called it the, the decision. Some decks called it the sacrifice. Because the spirit of the card is what do you want? How do you prioritize it? Like what's worth more to you? What are you, what are you willing to do to get it? What are you willing to sacrifice for it? So it's figuring out what you want most. Figuring out what you want most. And for some of you, this might be choosing between relationships. For you, this might be choosing between career options. But it's a, it's, a, it's a card having to do with choices or decisions. If you've been having a hard time with love life, the lover's card sometimes for me in my readings comes up to say, you have to figure out what love is. Because it's different for different people. We, we define it differently. What is love to you? What is your ideal relationship? And this might be something that your angels and guides are trying to help you to figure out. Now, the reason why I was happy to see this card come up for Gemini is when I'm reading for somebody and their major arcana card comes up, it's telling me that whatever the situation is that's going on around like why you're getting the reading, that situation that you're dealing with is directly connected to the moment that you're going to come into your power. The situation that you're dealing with is directly connected with you taking back your power, embracing your authenticity, shaking off any programming, any conditioning, any labels, and going back to the authentic self, who you are on a soul level, who you were the day you were born before all of the programming and conditioning and labels started to get, you know, hung upon you. It's living in your confidence. It's living in your best life. Unapologetically is who you are living life the way that you want to live your life. And there's a sense of falling in love with yourself in a non narcissistic kind of way, falling in love with yourself in the way that the things that you thought were weaknesses or flaws are actually very wonderful tools in your life box of tools your tool life box your uh, your life toolbox you know that when you take these characteristics or your traits and you put them to use productively they're actually very powerful uh tools to have so it's like you fall in love with all of yourself your light your dark right uh, you're light and you're heavy. You're falling in love with all of yourself and realizing that you don't have to hide it or you don't have to, uh, you know, try to s suppress or, or uh, push down an aspect of yourself. You're embracing all of you when your major arcana card comes up. So this is powerful energy, Gemini. Powerful, powerful energy. I feel like something is happening that you're setting your sights on something today and you're telling yourself, this is going to be my birthday present. 
this is my birthday present to myself. And so, like, you're already gearing up. Obviously, we're not in Gemini season yet. But I feel like something might be coming up today where you're saying, this is going to be my birthday present. This is what I'm going to gear up for. This is what I'm going to get. This is what I'm going to accomplish. Happy birthday to me. Like, that's the energy I'm feeling here with the lover's card. You may want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign. Uh, some weeks that might resonate more for you than your sun sign or it might be helpful just to know what's happening in those areas of your life. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, you can do so by going to calendly.com slash amethystangelite. There's also the link in the description of this video. If you want to click on the link and schedule a private reading with me, you can. We will be going back to the weekly forecasts. Yay! Some of you are saying, ah, oh, but I think I have a happy compromise. So there will be 12 weekly forecasts every single week, one for each zodiac sign. And then I'll be checking in daily to do one card for everyone. So there'll be one card of the day. And hopefully that'll be helpful to check in each day and just share a message with you all. And uh, there'll be 12 weekly forecasts every week. We'll try that for a while. We'll see how it's going. We'll see if it's helpful. And then we will figure something else out if it's not. But we will try that for a while. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. And I'm wishing you all a wonderful day. Take care, Gemini.